Hi, everyone. Welcome to New Pantheon Academia, the anime-inspired show here on Saving Throw Show, powered by Overarms, available now at drivethroughrpg.com. Ding! Ding, indeed. Uh, <laughs> we have a great penultimate show for you tonight. That's right. Next week is our season finale. It's the prom. Oh, my God. It's going to be a thing. There's going to be... Horrible dresses that don't fit right and corsages that are a little wilted. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I'm excited. Why this call is not Erica the nineties? Okay, oh, yeah. I'm okay, sorry. If, I'm sorry if my it, I'm more of a winter than a summer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't apologize for my fashion sense <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Okay, I'm stopping everything right here. What the hell does I'm a winter or I'm a summer actually mean? Because I've heard color this my whole life. I'm pretty sure it's I, the undertone of your skin. You might have rosy undertones, which means you're a summer, or you might have cooler undertones, which means you're a winter, and you can't you pair certain colors neutral. with yourself. Yeah, yeah you could if be you have neutral. neutrals, they're fall, and if you're more green, like olive toned, you're a spring. Yeah. So if you're getting makeup, you need to choose the one that fits your undertone. Otherwise, you're going to look really bad. I'm the, the, easiest way to, the easiest way to figure it out is with lipstick. Yep. Or with red lipstick. Yep. Red lipstick? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes red, like certain colors, you do like a cooler lipstick on you, and it pulls more cool or it pulls more warm. You can tell where you sit. I think I'm warm. Yeah, yeah you, you have you have very blushy red undertones. So yes, I would. Now I would for makeup, I get it. For makeup, I get it. I'm just talking like, oh, I had to sell my entire wardrobe because I found out I'm a summer. Well, well yeah, because if if you're using a lot of blues, but you're uh you're like rosy undertone, it's going to bring out those rosy undertones more and make you look more red faced. I have a pink shirt on and it's making me look paler. Yep. Yeah, I I, I finally got uh, like I I got to told not so subtly by bunches of people that my my best colors like maroons and like reds and stuff like that uh, and yeah. that I need to stop wearing so much blue because I don't pull it off as well. It'll like wash you out if you're wearing the wrong colors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The more that's you know. why the more melanated the your more skin you is, know. I have the, the, I more, have the, the more melanated your yeah, the skin rainbow. is, the more colors you can pull off. Like Lupita Nango has perfect skin and can literally wear the every color. You know. <laughs> and that's also why I don't bother with coloring my wardrobe and I just wear grays and blacks because I don't I don't want to mess with it. <laughs> Period. Well, I now understand said, the I'm Dahlia. a summer, I'm a winter thing. We Maybe you should wear a lot of green. You should wear more greens yeah. in your oh, life. More green greens. looks real good on me. Yeah. And see, you did a thwarp. I've got a ton of green shirts, but mostly I wear them on screen and I can't because they're green shirts. <laughs> <laughs> what you need Get to do is screen. set up this uh, early ops vlogger thing I got going on behind me. It's great. Mm. Rumpel, this is not the time. <laughs> yes, it is. Show us it's Rumpel. Always Rumpel. No, he has not been in the entire time. And as soon as this show starts, meow, I'm going to go see my friends. Meow. Every That's new pantheon, Loki. Rumpel has to make an appearance. <laughs> I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it. So with that very strange tangent out of the way, let's go ahead and meet our table. Starting with... Uh, the, hmm. you know what? I don't have anything cute for this one. They're got, they're playing a trap card on your heart. It's critical bard. You couldn't think of anything cute for me. <laughs> I just and I made up something there. So thank you all so much for allowing me to be here. But I'm just gonna casually leave. Bye. <laughs> it's fair, honestly. There's very so fair. much material there, Steven. <laughs> Anywho, hello, my name is Omega <laughs> Jones, the not so cute one, also known as the Critical Bard. Critical Bard across all social media channels. And today I will be returning as Kawame Akinyemi, uh, heartthrob. Uh, he is totally not part of the school safety th squad. And uh, he has the divinity of Anansi, the West African trickster god of stories. The Nile is in Egypt, man. Uh, that's my province, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, CB. I was trying to think of something better than riding uh -huh. a skateboard downhill towards homoeroticism, and I uh -huh. don't think I'll ever be able to top that. I'm going okay. back to my. I'm going back you to my Belgian waffle. Enjoy your waffle. waffle. Enjoy your waffle. <laughs> <laughs> next up, they, next up, they just found the digi crest of something. It's Aki. I wanted the digi crest. <laughs> You got Yu-Gi-Oh! You got Yu-Gi-Oh! You Yu -Oh. <laughs> I mean... Oh, boy. 
Okay, cool. Hi, I'm Aki. I play Emancipation Brown, otherwise known as Manny. They're adorable. They're a little bit of a space case. They'll enable you to do both the most wonderful things and most ridiculous things you ever heard of. Uh, and they are, they are their divinity is Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. It's your boy, Manny Brown. Not a boy. <laughs> it's your B-O-Y boy, there you Manny go. Brown. There you go. Next up, uh, they're trying to catch a Charizard. It's Mika. Oh my God, are those Pokemon? Thank you so much. My name is Arthur. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my they're, God. They're, <laughs> they're Pikachu's. They're Mika Oh. <laughs> Are you okay, Steven? What's no, going on? I'm not okay. What the fuck What's wrong, Steven? Stop Have it. you seen my Pikachu? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it right now. <laughs> Hi, I'm RPV Guy. I play Dolly Wingrove. Your lovable theater kid who's running for prom court. Please vote for her. Please. She needs a win. She needs to get this crown. Uh, not only for herself, but also for the safety of the entire school and maybe the world. Um, she also, Persephone, daughter of Persephone. You guys know this already. Okay. <laughs> and finally, he's going Super Saiyan. It's Eric. Ah, actually, I, hold on. Let me. Ah, I can do it. See? I, Did I, you guys I plan that? No. no. I, I mean, I have three buttons that do three distinct anime things and that was one of them obviously uh because i am who i am hi everyone i'm eric and i'm playing uh lennox thatcher who is the former captain of the football team and currently in possession of ninkasi the goddess of beer all right thank you all for joining us today now uh real quick for everyone listening to us as a podcast i'm sorry I'm sorry, but if you what? are tuning in on a podcast or a, you, or a YouTube video and you've just put up with 10 minutes of pure silliness, thank you so much. Do us a solid. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, the whole nine yards. Uh, it helps the show. It helps the channel. helps everyone. It's really, really appreciated. But if you're joining us live, you can help support the show directly, not only being in the chat, which is always appreciated. Thank you. We love you all very much. You can have a uh, toast read by our own school administrator. Uh, Eric, over there. Or I can draw from the deck of heroes because our show is inspired by things such as Jojo's, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and the Persona series of video games where tarot cards help determine how things go sometimes. They can be a major help. They can be a major burden, but they'll always be entertaining. And don't forget to help out our friends over at Die Hard Dice. They support the channel. We support them. That's how this thing works. Uh, you can get 10% off your order using the code NATURAL20 at checkout. Use command exclamation point DH, DH Dice in the chat for links and info. And you can buy the Critical Bard set. Ta-da! Do the MUA thing. Do it. Yeah, close enough. I'm over it. Sorry, also I rubbles in my lap, and he got really scared. I'm sorry. No, poor <laughs> and last but not least, if you really want to help support the whole channel, not just this show, but things such as All Games No Masters, uh, uh, Salt Butt, whenever that comes back. It's coming back. Don't worry about that. All Games oh. No Masters is my show. It's mine. My show, y'all. I know, and it's awesome. It's an amazing show where they play games that don't require Dungeon Masters. It's amazing. But you can help support this show, that show, and so many other shows by joining the Exploration Society on Patreon. We're trying to get 3000 a month by the end of May. This will really help not only pay our talent, but keep the stuff on the air, keep growing the channel, new videos, new shows, new rigmarole. It's going to be great, and you can get... Pins, swag, merch discounts, one-page adventures written by members of Saving Throw Show. Uh, so be part of the society. Join up today. So now that I've found my footing again after a very strange intro. Last week on New Pantheon Academia, the four of you ventured into the collective unconscious, the dreamscape, where you found Morpheus. Well, at the time you thought he was Orpheus. Turns out he was actually a god. He had a, he had a part of him stolen, and he got it back thanks to you four. 
After finding his nightmare form, you were able to bring him back to life. And also, Lenny found out that if you go deep enough, you could potentially bring someone back to life. But it's not exactly a safe way to go about it. Uh, we also found out that Loki is not really beholden to the rules of linear time. So there's some wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff for you to play with. And Kwame, if you if you want to know more, you should check out Loki on on Disney Plus. You found us out. This whole thing, wow, this whole thing, viral marketing for Loki. <laughs> Nick Fury is going to show up on prom. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. we're all getting we're all getting recruited to the Avengers I Initiative. Can't <laughs> <laughs> uh, and our story begins in the small room of the school safety squad club room. <gasps> Sorry, we have to stop. Hi, baby. Oh, oh there's a cat on screen. He's comfortable. Oh, I'll, I'll just keep him here. Look at him. He's precious. Yeah. Oh my He's gosh. perfect. I love him. I would <laughs> die for him. Okay, you can go on. Sorry. <laughs> can this just be the rest of the stream? Us appreciating a cat. I mean, yeah. I can get a couple more if we need. If absolutely more cats. Cat dad. If you take out the C, put an R, I can get us three rats. Mm, close. Ooh. I like rats. I like rats too. Okay. <laughs> Okay, cool. <laughs> so, the four of you find yourselves inside the School Safety Squad Club Room, located in the uh, old, older uh, club room building next to the sandwich between the Baking Society and the Gluten-Free Baking Society. Still at war, but at least they know not to mess with your club. And in front of a whiteboard... <laughs> Covered in red string pictures and markers, <laughs> wearing a tiny rabbit sized military hat and holding a writing crop that he borrowed from a Nazi is Morpheus. So I, I got a, I, I, I heard, <laughs> I, I, did, I was like, we gotta go back Oof. and talk about this. Yeah, Oof. we've talked about how, how about you borrow the writer from where is, uh, where <laughs> did the Nazi writer? come from? <laughs> we are a private school. school. <laughs> we are home. a private school. There is no way we don't have a horse riding club that he could have gotten this riding <laughs> club from. It's <laughs> just <laughs> no way. I'm going home. <laughs> Listen, I understand, Stephen, that there are strong associations in your Jewish blood. Oh, shit. To oh, where you think man. writing crops may come from. <laughs> That's something we're talking about with your therapist. Maybe he got it from the equestrian club, you know. <laughs> Last right. week, we had a Nazi a with a writing crop. That was the joke. Yes, I got it. I got it. I was there. I, I was there and then I wasn't there. And I, guess needed to, okay. I don't want to be here anymore. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh. That's the way to wake everyone up. Get it didn't help that I thought for a second I thought that was Nanako when you mentioned like the, the bunny ad and all that. I'm like, what are they doing? And then that happened. It's cool. It's great. Oh, Anywho. <sighs> Continue. I don't want to. Do it. <laughs> we believe Fine. in you, Steve. You got this. I don't believe in me. Don't believe in me. It's horrible. <laughs> it's a bad mistake. No, it's not. Stop talking about yourself like that. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> oh, man. Okay. Deep breaths. We're back. <laughs> Morpheus has been explaining his plan to take full control over the prom voting. You're about in, you're about 30 minutes into this lecture and it has been the most complicated, confusing thing any you've ever heard. I need everyone to roll me intelligence. Seven. One. Do we have any rerolls? We do not, not have do we have rerolls yet? Let's check. Oh, we do. Thank you, chat. Chat, thank you. Thank I don't you know if it's chat. worth it right now, but yeah, I'll leave it. It's a two. 
It's a one from me, boss. <laughs> I got a three. <clears throat> and what did Lenny get? Seven. Lenny, you are the closest to understanding this plan, and you still don't understand it. The rest of you have all turned into black and white outlines with despair lines behind you and the sound of a flat lighting heart monitor because what, what, what is happening? I feel as though we have entered a realm of overcomplication beyond any of our comprehension. Yeah, what are, I like, what, are, what are you talking about? It makes perfect sense. We just have no, to... no. I get it. I get what you're going for, like fully. Um, but wouldn't it be easier if we just like, I don't know, threw money at the problem? Because that seems like that that would solve like a lot of your issues there. Uh, I'm just saying, like, like, do, like, I feel like a lot, like especially the 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 day three stuff that could be looped into day two if you just spent more money. As Lenny's talking. You just see Kawame start to like unravel his shoe. Um, he's actually wearing like sneakers for once. He typically wears like you know nicer shoes. Um, he's wearing sneakers. He just starts unraveling his shoe, finally getting down to his laces, and he just takes the laces out and just like tosses them somewhere. He goes, "Oh look, I don't have shoes that are are worth thing anything." Lenny, if you have all that money, you can uh, maybe um, give me some so I can get more shoes. Uh yeah. Um, all I got. Uh, how much are shoelaces? I don't know. All I got is oh, no, 200. I, I got 200. Is that like that's because that's all I can oh, get out oh, in a day? So, that might, like, that I might guess be you get enough for shoe. Yeah, pilots, if it's not but... enough, I can like hit you back tomorrow. Uh, thank we... you. I, I would appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, and he hands you $200. And Kwame takes it. And Man wow. leans over to Kwame and goes, Does that count as reparations? No, <laughs> but we all allow them to think so. Okay. Dahlia's on the other side of the room. She's wearing a business suit and she has her phone to her ear and she's like, no, we absolutely need the cakes for the, we're throwing a party to get more votes for prom court. What do you not understand? We need the three cakes and they need to be a cheesecake, a chocolate cake, and then a vanilla cake for the people that don't have taste. Don't, uh, don't forget the carrot cake. We need the carrot cake. Okay. Add a fourth cake, a carrot cake for thank you. some, yeah, you got it. You got it. Not that I'm not trying to like, like do you like you can do your thing, but have you thought about cupcakes? Because then and then everyone gets like to choose something, and then you're doing like it's an individual thing. People don't feel like they're taking too much or too little. Scratch just... that! No more cakes. We're doing cupcakes, and I need them to be very tall pyramids. Yeah, I know. I don't have I don't have the money in my bank account, but I was hoping my dad could spot me a little bit. I think it'd be fine. Adalia, I believe um, if you ask. Um... Because I, I, I think the world is uh, obviously um, uh, decided and fixed with money. Uh, I certainly next that um, and his family might be able to help. Yeah, you can just take, I don't know which one of these credit cards is the, uh, there's the black one, there's the gold one, there's the silver one. I think one of them might do it. It just hands, it just shows his wallet. <laughs> just like whichever one you, you like, I don't know. Just going to like gingerly pluck one and be like, Okay, I need you to write this down because we're probably going to be using this a lot. Um, three, two, <laughs> and she reads off all the numbers. <laughs> have the I, pin, have the I pin created... is one, two, three, four if you need it. Have I, have I created pin. monsters? Is that, is that what I did? No, Manny, Manny, you have not created monsters. You have been doing the most good, and I appreciate that. Oh. Uh, thanks. Um, as you can see, we have three lovely members of the safety school, the safety squad running for mm -hmm. prom court. In you have two. Three members of the safety club. Can we say two members of the club and a Kwame? Yes. Okay. Three members of the safety squad <laughs> are running for, are running for prom court. And I, I have a belief and faith in every single one of them. I know I know that we're going to be able to snatch up a bunch of those spots. Well, I agree. But the problem is, uh, if you see over here on chart B, uh, oh, wait, I got to move the newspapers off here. Uh, I don't think we have the Kennedy do? papers out here. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. Wait, Morpheus. Yes. Pause. I Pausing. think. I think I understand what's happening here, and I want to alleviate some of your concerns. 
Okay. I know it probably feels like you missed a lot. I did. And now you're now you're trying to make up for it. I am. We love you very much. You're overdoing it. Well, I appreciate that. I hear you and I understand. However, okay. and he plucks a piece of paper off his uh, Pepe Silvia board. Uh, the numbers aren't looking great, especially for Lenny. Huh? Lenny's yeah. supposed to be the shoe in. Uh, no, no, Lenny's uh, Lenny's pulling real bad. Uh, this uh, is yeah. why I've been planning so hard. And uh, or Morpheus hands you the uh, stats, Manny. On them, you see uh, Kwame is kind of in the middle. Dahlia's closer to the top; it's still in the middle, and Lenny is uh, kind of towards the bottom. Yeah, well, there's been I mean, a lot of talk, uh, both behind my fact, my back, and like directly to my face or whatever, uh, about how um, since joining the safety squad, my the, my equity in cool has significantly dropped because not only am I hanging out with people who weren't considered cool uh, to begin with, uh, I have quit the football, uh, so it seems like I'm actively on a downward trajectory. Uh, in terms of what is socially considered uh, with it. I mean, I got quick, quick question. Are any of you guys free at 3 p.m. tomorrow? Um, the newspaper wants to interview us. Sure. I'm free. Okay, cool. Um, um, I... Um, I, I there is a way to, to fix this. I need to go. I need to go. I have a. I have a. I have a, a pep squad meeting. Yeah, I have a pep squad meeting in an hour, and I need to go and get ready for that. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Um. Uh, okay, Manny. I'll, I'll Text me you if you need something. Of course, I'll I'll see I'll see you all later. Honestly, I probably should go as well. Um, as you all say, uh, I am only in the middle, and I don't do the middle. I do well. No need to go that far. I need to go do my own campaigning for a boat. Go talk to the cheerleaders. Well, uh, real quick, actually, um, you're not doing well with uh, like the athletic crew, so. Fine. Throw that out there. I can um, persuade people very easily. You're kind of intimidating. You know that? Am I? Mm. You, you kind of have this uh, sexy Goliath voice. Dahlia showed me Disney+. Plus. Oh, you like gargoyles. That's good. Anywho, I'll go, you know. Well, <clears throat> I've been meaning to... Uh, get back into the athletic side of things anyway. So who knows? I might join a team if 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 just for the performance of it all. Mm. I could yeah, play sports are really great if you want to perform like you're somebody else. There's something deeper to that statement, but I'm Excellent. going to check wow. in on that later. Oh, boy. Either way, I'm off to go. I believe the basketball team plays in about... 20 minutes, or at least they have practice. I'll go over there and check in on them. Okay. Um, bye, I guess. Um, so, Dahlia and Lenny, you two are left in the club room. Uh, what are you up to? Dahlia's making so many phone calls, just trying to set up, like, meetings with clubs and with just, like, anyone that she possibly can to talk them up, go on a brunch, Try yeah. to shake hands, kiss babies in a way. <laughs> uh, kiss hands, shake babies. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and give me a charisma roll. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> charisma? <laughs> 11. Yeah, um, you really should get into politics. You're really killing it. People, they're responding well. They're responding well. 
Thank you. I was born for this. Honestly, I think so. You've got a real like uh, personable in- energy that like it feels like, you know, you, you're smart and you'll get things done. But like you won't talk down to people like you care about people, which I think is like what, what you want in, in le- your leaders. Yeah, I've also heard that if you have a lot of passion about something, people will latch on to that when you're talking about it. And I am very passionate about holding office in any way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought you just wanted a crown. Well, that too. I'm passionate about that as well. Fair enough. You got it. They go hand in hand. Get one, get the other. Uh, uh, Lenny. It's like, it's like my dad used to say, get elected first and then decide what you stand for. Huh. I guess I did that backwards. Okay. I'm not sure which one's right. That's but yours I'm is fine. working, so yeah. Uh, we cut away from the club room. Uh, Manny, where did you go? I headed for the pep squad, uh, like club room, essentially to start kind of getting things ready for our meeting. Um, I think that, uh, Manny is, um, kind of very just quietly cleaning, getting chairs and stuff set up, maybe, uh, pulling some materials together because they still have to make these other two pieces uh, for the prom court. And they've got like the crowns kind of set aside and they're just sort of, you know, doing what they usually do, keeping an eye on them and uh, like basically sort of sketching out ideas for what to do with the other, the other two pieces. Mm-hmm. Um, the crowns continue to glow that uncomfortable orange to them. It's, seems to be getting brighter the closer you get to prom. There's a knock at the door and then it opens and a large imposing man, uh, you would estimate he's about 50 or so, enters the room. He uh, scratches at his beard as he takes a seat. You must be Manny. Yeah, um, that's that's right. Emancipation Brown. How? Who are you? How can I help you? Oh, my name's the King in White. I wish to parlay. <laughs> um. I maybe need to get my ears cleaned out, or maybe I'm having a weird dream. Um, can you tell me one more time what your name is? The King in White. We've been playing a uh, game for a while now. If by game you mean you've been sending monsters to my campus to hurt and scare the other people here, that we have then sus- um, uh summarily kicked the asses of and destroyed if that by that you mean game then yes i guess we've been playing a game why are you here again what i want to parlay okay okay i mean i think i remember what the rules of parlay are um you want to talk about stuff Negotiate or something? I don't know. Yes. I'm not entirely sure what there is to negotiate here. You've been screwing, like, around, like, trying to hurt people and take control or whatever. I don't know what exactly what your game game is. I just know you've been causing a lot of trouble. Well, I'm sitting in the seat. I must play the game. The four of you are on the board. We've been playing for a while. I can tell that this game is not going to end in my favor, more than likely. Bet your ass it's not. So I wish to parlay. I wish to find a happy middle ground, if you will. You notice as he speaks, his face moves, but nothing moves right. Kind of like talking to a puppet. 
What do you want? Hmm. Those. He motions no. to the crowns. No. You already know that's a no. Yes, but why? Because we don't know what you plan to do with them. And I'm certainly not going to hand to what appears to be very powerful objects over to somebody who has been trying to hurt us all semester. It's not personal. I have no intention of hurting you. I have no intention of hurting anyone. I'm simply in the seat, so I must play the game. This is the game. Manny, you notice that when he blinks, one eye goes and then the other one, almost like a weird 90s CGI cartoon. I'm afraid that's not going to be good enough, Mr. White King. Hmm. Very you well. You need to give me a legitimate reason as to why you want them. I want them so the game can end. What are you going to do with them? I'm going to use them so I no longer have to be in the seat. Use them how? Go ahead and roll me uh, charisma or intelligence, intelligence, whichever is higher. Eh, that's three. His face flashes something, but you can't read it. Hmm. It will be used for what it will be used for. It won't harm you. In fact, it probably won't harm anyone here. It will just end the game. Will it hurt our gods? I don't know. I don't know is not going to be a sufficient enough answer to convince me to give these to you. Okay. Then in the rules of parlay, I wish to give you a counteroffer. You give me the crowns, or I murder everyone. Wow. You're bad at this. I think it's a fair deal. That does exactly sound like somebody with some, what somebody in your position would say, given that you're per, a being of immense power capable of doing the things that you're capable of doing and leveraging that against people you consider to be weaker than yourself in order to get them to uh, give you your way. And I'm very sorry, but I'm not going to give you your way. And I'm not going to let you hurt anybody either. Very well. He stands up and he extends a hand. No, thank you. Damn. Very well. Then I will see you on I will see you on the day of the crowning. Okay. He leaves the room, and you didn't realize how goddamn cold it was in here while you were talking to him. Gross. He was gross. Not five seconds later, the doors open, and you hear the fighting between Piotr and Ben. This time about what colors the mushrooms should be because this is what these two do this is their entire friendship it's black white and red is the theme of the problem it's not that difficult you have three choices for colors three and it shouldn't be that hard okay i tell scrawny man this i tell scrawny man you have three options you have three options he picked he picked fourth option i didn't pick a fourth fourth option i'm just saying Red with white dots. That's classic. I mean, What's it wrong works. With you? Oh, um, nothing. Just got a little bit of cold. The AC is cranked up a bit high in there for a bit. No, no. The emancipation, the color of skin is uh, pale. 
Well, I mean, I've spent so much time inside lately. I'm not, I'm not getting enough vitamin D. That's all. Mm. But perhaps we have meeting outside today. Get you sunlight. Meeting outside actually sounds really nice. Um, but also, I think red with white dots is completely reasonable. Things can have patterns. Piotr glares at Ben. And Piotr is a very tall, imposing man of 16. And Ben is just a scrawny thing. And Ben looks like he just fucking KO'd him in one. Also, the two of you should consider therapy. They both blink at that, and as they do, we cut away to the basketball courts. Uh, right now, the basketball team is practicing outside. Uh, vice president of the school and Le vice president of the school and captain of the basketball team, Leroy Baker, is uh, going for a hook shot, and he lands it. I don't know basketball at all. I don't know sports. God help me. But uh, Kwame, you are on the field. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't think it's precious. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, as Kawame, uh, today. no, it was amazing. It was just precious. Uh, anywho, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, uh, anywho, uh, he kind of just well done. Well done. And just kind of walks up and just kind of surveys the the, the scene that's going on. Uh, oh, hey, Kwame. Hey, I had a question. I was told by a little birdie that, um, as you all know, prom is coming up. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was told that there might be a problem between uh, those of the more academic, no, athletic persuasion, uh, and I. Uh, have you heard anything about this? Is there something I might need to know? Uh, I mean, uh, I was probably, I mean, I was going to vote for Lenny, but he kind of dropped out of... Well, we're in two different categories anyway, so that's a non-factor. Oh, well... Yeah, in that case, I was going to vote for you. Good. What about the team? Uh, a lot of them are going to vote for Jamal. Is that so? Yeah. Have you ever thought about what you're going to do after you leave this place, this academy? Uh, I'm planning college. Yes? What are you going to do in college? Are you planning on going to Oregon State or whatever it is. Hmm. Oh, God, no. I'm, I'm going back to Georgia. <laughs> Do you plan on playing basketball? No. Or... Pre-med, yeah. Pre-med? Interesting. Well, the thing is, I need to guarantee that the, the team will, will play on the same team as you do. It's very important to me, you know. That crown means something, especially for an upperclassman like me. I just want to uh, see what can I do for you to ensure that that happens. They do listen to you and all. Uh, listen, Kwame, I'm flattered, but uh, I don't swing that way. I. Uh... And why would you assume that's the way I wanted you to swing? You're not coming on to me. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. cool. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just have a way with getting what I want, and I can make that happen for other people too. Is that something you've always wanted? I mean, everyone wants something. Then name it. Okay. I wish no I didn't. Oh, 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 sorry. I wish I didn't have to be here on a basketball scholarship. 
What would you be doing if you weren't here on a basketball scholarship? Just out of curiosity. I don't know. Probably focusing a bit more on classes and stuff. I'm pulling a B in science right now. That's embarrassing. Okay. This is good to know. I hope you make that next shot. Okay, I'll be in touch. And I just kind of get smile and start the whistle as I I like do like I, I know I'll once around the gym, just kind of taking it in for a second. And as I do, I uh, whisper to Anansi, you have been confined for far too long, and it seems like we need to start pulling um, a, a bit more weight. Are you fine with this? Oh, so fine. Good. Then let me spin the story in which Leroy has his wish fulfilled. That's a big one. I'm excited I'm aware. for it. All right. So go ahead and spend an AP. And this is a big one. So we're going to go ahead and make it a roll. Okay. I need you to uh, roll me intelligence and power. I can do that. That is that. That is that. Uh, okay. We, we do have... We how many have rerolls do we have? I'm going to use one. We have five rerolls, uh, so now we have great. four. Uh, yeah, good. That is a 20. Whew. Now, I have to ask Kwame. Have I you apologize. Ever... Wait. When you max on one die, that's a crit? Max on both dice. Max on both dice. Okay, never mind. I maxed on one. The other one was 10. Thank you. Now, I have to ask you, Kwame. Have you ever used your power for something drastic? He's dabbled. Uh, he has, but he didn't realize he did. Um, no one's actually ever asked about his family, and no one asked what his parents do or how he got to this place to begin with. Uh, his uh, father is pretty um, well known, um, at least uh, very influential, if you will. Um, and it's because he wasn't at first. And Kawame willed it to be so. Dang. All right. All right. We've never had a reason to get back into uh, Kawame's backstory. So I just left it, let it be. <laughs> um, so, yes, he's, he's, he hasn't done it much, but he has once before. Not that big. I mean, that big. Hmm. All right. As you make your story, what do you change the story to be? I change it so Kawame is the captain of the basketball team. So what happened as the story is changed, instead of coming here on a scholarship, he came here on a pre-med, um, on a, on a, on a, on a uh, more academic um, scholarship. But in his place, Kawame was the one who came for basketball. Go ahead and roll me dexterity if someone passes the ball to you. Uh, that's actually a six. This is high as I can get. It's a six. <laughs> you catch it. Uh, the th it's just a pickup game. It's not that serious. But uh, Leroy ba Leroy Baker, uh, kid from Georgia, keeps his hair hair short, glasses, uh, just another dorky black kid from Atlanta is going up against you because this is one of the rare times he has time away from his studies to play. And he is going, going, and he can't get the ball from you. He just goes, oh, you, you learn. You're fine. <laughs> I'm out of shape. What do you want? Just wanted you to learn. You, you probably have some studying to do, though. Uh, don't remind me. Don't remind me. Do not remind me. I was. I called my mom, and she turned into Jennifer Lewis for a minute there. It was horrifying. Oh yeah, that's bad. Oh boy. Make sure that B becomes an A. It was. An, it's an A minus. How dare you? Uh, he does whisper to a Nancy. The question is, how much changed with that? We will find out. Ask them. I don't. I don't keep track of these things. 
Also, by the way, does this mean I have to start wearing the little shorts? Do you want to wear the little shorts? I mean, it's very difficult with eight legs, but I think I'd be very cute in them. I'll even get you a little jersey, too. Hell yeah. So yeah, for all intents and purposes, Kawame um, 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 still does poetry, but he is 1,000% the captain of the basketball team. Damn. All right. Major character change. Go ahead and give me a charisma roll. Let's see how much I... You're captain of the basketball team, but let's see how much they like you. Uh, I'd say 8 out of 12. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Um, You're well-respected. You definitely have their vote. And I'll just kind of smile and go, this will work. Um, and start to head back. Uh, at least I'll just start, I'll head to like the cafeteria or something. I don't know where everybody's going to meet yet, but. All right. We got back into the school safety squad uh, club room. And before we do that, Be Right UK has drawn from the deck of heroes. So let's go ahead and shuffle this up. I haven't done this in a hot second. So here are the rules. I will draw a card. I will draw three cards. Reveal the card they have chosen. If it's in the upright position, something good will happen. If it's inverse, something bad will happen. If I draw the fool, Aki will have a uh, free crit to spend. If I draw the star, Dahlia. The emperor, Letty. Or the sun, Kwame. But if it's an inverse, I have a crit fail for that character. Beaver at UK has drawn has chosen two. Let's see what we got. Ah, the tower in reverse. <laughs> this should be fun. This should be fun. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We cut back to the club room. Dahlia and Lenny. Um, D- Dahlia, you nailed it. You've nailed it. You have every school blog lined up for an interview tomorrow. You have cupcakes in a variety of flavors and mini bunt cakes. Because you know you got some bougie kids here. Yes. You have... You don't know if you've secured your spot. But damn it. You know you are going down swinging. Lenny, what what have you been up to? I think Lenny has defaulted just like the the pure like charisma and force that has become Dahlia in this moment is like is now like like campaign managing like like you know it's like can I get you coffee? It's like doing whatever whatever he can to help. Yes, uh Lenny and Morpheus have become Dahlia's uh assistants. For this. <laughs> he just he, Lenny is literally just on the phone. It's like, yeah, no, no, no. I if 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 you've got a minute, I would love to talk to you about voting for Dahlia for for prom court. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think I will do that to myself. But uh, you could have just okay. Bye. Some of these well, people are real rude. Oh, you don't want to read the you don't want to read the comments I've been putting up with. Morpheus has set up a Bluetooth keyboard and a phone and has been running Facebook ads targeted. Uh, thank God Lenny has the good money for this. <laughs> Everyone at school has gotten a vote for Dahlia uh, pop up on their Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever. It's kind of concerning. Everyone's wondering if this is legal or not. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine like, like Dahlia's on the phone and then me and, 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 and Morpheus are trying to figure out like, okay, we need like a TikTok dance though. Something that's like, I don't know, like, uh, like, I don't know. I'm getting ripped tonight. I'm going to vote for Dolly. No, that no, doesn't work. No, 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 no. Uh, there's a Barbie girl we, one. What if we, uh, there's that new meme going around that's like, hey, yo, the person that sent you this wants you to know. You need to vote for Dahlia yeah. this weekend. Something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, listen, I'm a rabbit, but I, I don't know. I don't think that's going to work. I don't think that's going to work. Okay. Back to the drawing board. Do you think we should drop roses off at everyone's door again this week? Um, do we have the do we have that in the budget? I don't know, Lenny. Do we have it in the budget? What is our budget? I don't, I don't really like fully understand money. So yeah. Okay, cool. 
uh, I, I'll get I'll get the gang back together to to drop some roses off. As it as it's been explained to me, um, we have so much money that it makes its own money that we can't spend fast enough. You really shouldn't have said that. That's horrifying. I gotta go make a phone call. <laughs> I have to what. I have to wonder how capitalism happened. Manny, you are outside. I have two words for you in re in response. White people. You're not Dahlia, wrong. Dahlia is calling and trying to get a uh, skywriter now to say well for Dahlia <laughs> Bubble School. <laughs> yeah, Manny, Manny will have uh, finished up their meeting with Have Scott and Wandered Back. Or to safe the school. Uh, yeah, school you guys had your meeting outside. Um, a lot of people were kind of concerned about you because you seemed a little shaken during the meeting. But you know, you, go ahead and give me a charisma roll. Let's see how well you played it off. I was fine. Nothing was wrong. Everything was okay. Seven. Yeah, you know, people were. They believe you. They believe you. It's just you've been really focused on getting the stuff done. You haven't had a lot of outside time lately. It happens. Yeah. I'm like a flower. I need sun and air to survive. Everyone needs sun and air to survive. That doesn't just, you know what? Never mind. Um, I photosynthesize. <laughs> as you approach the club building, you... Give me an intelligence roll. I'm looking for a four. It's not hard. I mean, when you only have a D6. Yes. That's a 50-50 shot. Roll to one. Okay. As you approach the club building, you see uh, Simi David and Great Sage Under Heaven and Nightshade 88, uh, members of the uh, Contemporary Art Society discussing uh, how they're going to do the uh, chalk art walk. Um, you see Louisiana born and Texas raised uh, making a deal with Critical Bard about, you know, some illegal barbecuing going on. No. Uh, and Critical that's, Bard would be trying to do bootleg barbecue in, in, in the quad somewhere. That, that bootleg sounds about barbecue. right. And I need you to roll me dexterity as suddenly you hear and feel a very loud explosion. Dexterity, Okay. Six. High okay. second roll. Uh, the whole building shakes like something just ran into it. Like a car went streaming by you, Manny, and just crashed into it. You see a crater in the side of the building. It didn't break through the drywall or the outside, but it has left a very large hole that it looks like someone punched it. Someone who has a fist diameter of five feet. Uh, Lenny and Dahlia, I need both of you to roll me dexterity as the glass on the window breaks and the whole room shakes. Five. Five. All right, good enough. You are both fine. Uh, Morpheus goes flying, but he just kind of lands in Lenny's chest. Just bonk. I got you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Kwame, over at the cafeteria where you said you were heading, um, what are you doing? Uh, probably just grabbing like a snack from like the vending machine or something that was around there. Um, getting like um, a bag of chips and some Gatorade just because I hadn't eaten. And then I was gonna probably check in on on Manny. Um, give them a call uh, to make sure everything's okay with them. Mm. The lights in the cafeteria flicker on and off. People are muttering, and then you hear the loud explosion coming from the club club room building. Uh, you see your drink just slosh like a bomb went off as well the good news is uh the uh, little vending machine everything just kind of falls out a little bit yeah i'll take it yeah. uh grab a famous uh, amos on your way out right just like you're the best uh exactly uh and i'll um 
start heading towards the, the specific like the safety school club area. Uh, really? Yeah, in the old club, in the old club building. Okay, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, he'll go. That's not good. Was that me? That couldn't have been me. I did not butterfly affect the media, did I? And I could start running towards the place. I need you to give me an intelligence roll as you approach the building. Uh, you see Manny uh, outside as well, and everyone looks very confused. That's an eight for me. Okay. You see the outline of a large bulbous creature. Um, it almost resembles a crab, more like someone trying to describe a crab to someone who's never seen it before. Its skin is fleshy and transparent, and the light shines through it. And you realize, oh, it's invisible and giant. This thing stands at about uh, 14 feet in height. That's a problem. You think? It's a... Oh. 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 Okay. Um, I had a conversation with the White King. He kind of threatened to kill everyone, and I told him to go fuck himself. Um, This might be the result of that. Okay, good. I thought it was because I changed reality to, to benefit myself. Good. Okay, it's you, not Wait, me. That's no. Nothing. <laughs> Uh, Manny, we'll talk. Manny, can you give okay. me an intelligence roll real fast? Okie dokie, Smokey. And Kwame, what are you wearing right now? Are you wearing uh, a jersey? Actually, I was going to think that uh, he has a jersey on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two? Yeah. As the reality changed, he went from his typical uh, jacket to a um, a jersey to show off his arm. That was a, okay. that was a two. Manny. You've never seen Kwame in a jersey. That's a head scratch. I'm just leaving that there. I'm just going to put that there for what you to... What the hell is going on? Anyways, there's a giant crab attacking the building, and I'm very certain. I'm fairly certain that Dolly and Lenny are still in there. Indeed they are, and I need all four of you to roll me initiative. Burr, 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 burr. Burr, 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 burr. Dex and I mean, I'll speed. I'll just do it if you... Uh, yes, me. <laughs> Let's do it. 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 Ooh. Like the, the old percolator. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's time for the percolator. Oh, that hey, was when hey, I was a kid. Hey. hey. <laughs> Took it back. Aging myself right there. Um, I'm from the, era, <laughs> from the era of the percolator. So, so McDonnie drew uh, a Nancy in a jersey, and I love it. Oh, uh, <laughs> you got to get him so many. I got to get him so many uh, basketball shoes, huh? So yeah, Lenny will shoes. buy them. So many shoes. All so right, so what initiative shoes. are we looking at? 11? 11 or 2? Uh, Dahlia, you are muted, but okay. 11 for Dahlia. 11! <laughs> I got the other the other part of the convenience store. I got a 7. Okay, 7 Ooh. for Manny. 12. Okay, 12 wow. for Kwame. Uh, 3. <laughs> You're just stuck. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, Kwame, it's you. So, I guess paint me this picture. There's a big old 14 foot invisible there's crab monster. Foot, yes, there's a 14 foot invisible bulbous crab monster uh, that is ramming itself into the building, looking like it's trying to destroy it, like a falling tower. Yeah. Right, yeah. Uh. I'm not entirely sure where a crab falls on the chessboard. But this is pretty wild. It is the one that tries to knock the chessboard over. That's what it is. Um, there is a piece that does that? It's... <laughs> ah! Um, <laughs> um, and it's outside. We're currently inside. Oh, no, you're outside as well. Oh, we're outside. Oh, good. Okay, that's that's better. Um, are there any, like, people around us? Like, what's yes, the... there are students 
uh, vacating the building as fast as they can as the cool. explosions continue, the crashes continue. Cool. Um, I, I guess Scream I'll go, Anansi, I need this to be concealed. Web it away, please. Spin that story. I need to make sure that no one can see, no one without a divinity can see what's happening with us and with the um, crap thing. All right. So go ahead, spend an AP. We're going to make this range and intelligence. Range intelligence. Is the right dice? Yes, that's the right dice. Baby, lock them doors and turn the lights. Don't look. That's a 15. All right. Uh, we will go ahead and make that an eight. You have put up barrier eight. Cool. Huh. I go, but seriously, why is that thing up there? As I'm like spinning the web, I think there's like web is like in, encircling all around us and immediately like camouflaging into what they want, what what the world sees. Um, so, just so you know. Hmm. The White King said that he wanted the crowns or else he'd kill everybody. We started the deal with just give me the re the crowns. And I said, no. And then he was like, if you give it to me, nothing bad will happen. And I was like, no. And then he was like, well, if you don't give them to me, lots of bad things will happen. And I said, no. And then he tried to shake my hand, and I said, no. There was a lot of me saying no, and I don't think he liked it very much. I don't think he understands how to deal with being told no. Most white people can't. Yes, that... Uh, Lenny? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, dropping the truth bombs here at Saving Throw Show. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up is. Was I accidentally the... projecting my thoughts? Did he hear me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Manny and Dahlia, both of you see a large. I'm you going mean to call Lenny it... and Dahlia. You are right. I apologize. Lenny and Dahlia, you both see a large. I'm going to call it a claw just because that's the closest approximation to what it is. Break through the window. Uh -huh. uh, La claw. It's <laughs> in it's transparent, but it warps the world around it. Uh it's gonna swipe at Lenny. Uh that's as well. That's definitely going to hit. Lenny, go ahead and roll your defense. Cool. I mean, he rolled a three on his initiative. Pretty much. I rolled a three day. on my defense as well. He's gonna I'm sneeze. Ooh, you take eleven. Oof, eleven damage. You Oof. take eleven as the claw just wipes at you and gets you right in the gut. That hurt. Ow. Uh, next up is Dahlia. Um. I'm going to call upon Persephone to uh, basically do what I did when we got Morpheus back. Uh, like shoot spikes up through the floor to try to grapple this thing. So it can't come further in, can't go further out. All right. Uh, go ahead and give me a roll. Um, now, to be clear, we decided this was an attack, right? Okay. So we'll go ahead and make this... Uh, Intelligence range, which is uh, the magician attack. Yes. Uh, does an 11 hit? An 11 does not hit. Huh? <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, re -roll? And we also, re -roll. Yeah, And we also need to be spending AP points for all of these attacks as well. Yes, yeah. if you use your divinity to attack, and this has been something I have not done right, so I apologize to everyone at home watching who's probably been like, why aren't you doing this? Uh, basically, when you uh, use your divinity for anything, including attacks, you will spend the AP point. You don't spend it for a rolling initiative, though. I Mika looks very happy. So what'd you get? Does a 17 hit? A 17 Ooh. absolutely hits. Okay, thank God. Whew. Go ahead and roll your damage. Int range plus two. Nineteen. Oh, good. Great. Good mug em. All right. It takes 14 of that as you just slice the claw off. And once it's removed, it takes on this white powdery hue before it dissolves to sand in the middle of the club room. 
You have saved our lives. We are eternally grateful. <laughs> <laughs> that made me happy. All right, Manny, you're up. Okay. Manny uh, is kind of feeling a little bit weird about the fact that they have potentially called down the wrath of the White King upon the entire school by being stubborn uh, and feels a certain sense of responsibility uh, for cleaning up this mess. And so they manifest their sword and they do a chop or they're going to try to do a chop, chop, chop. All right. Roll the hit. That's going to be my strength plus power plus two and an AP point. Do, 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 do. Y'all are going to have to forgive me. I only got about four or five hours of sleep because I stayed up really late watching Lord of the Rings. So I'm you don't have to bit, apologize for that. I'm a little bit silly today. I was up late playing Monster Hunter. That is not the right dice for the rolls I need to make. Aki, get with it here. Get with it. Jump on it. Whee. Um, I'm thinking a six isn't gonna like a an, an eight's not gonna do it. That's not gonna work. Do I want to re-roll? We have three left. No, I think it makes sense that they'd miss on this first attack. They're a little bit distraught. You swing your sword and you hit one of the legs of this creature. Uh, and it just... Boom. Well, it doesn't seem to do anything. Mm, Kwame! Next up is Lenny. Okay, so... A big old crab hand punched through the wall and stabbed me. And then Dahlia cut it off. Must be Sunday. Yeah. Um, Lenny is going to... I'm going to use my innate telepathic abilities to try and just, like, cause this... Like, just fill this thing's head with so much noise that it can't function, it can't think correctly, and it just, like, freezes, if I can. Okay. Um, as this is your innate power and not your divinity it's using, you will not spend the AP point, but go ahead and roll me intelligence. Oh. Uh, I don't think I can hit it if I'm just rolling my... So I guess... I guess I didn't know that that was not part of... Yeah, because it's not part of divinity. Yeah. Then I, I, I don't think I'll... I'll try. I guess I said I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Uh, eight. Crit. Um... You try to get inside this thing's mind, and you realize very quickly, it doesn't have one. Listen here, buddy. You need to... Oh, you're just a collection of instructions and instincts. Never mind, bro. <laughs> All right. We got to the top of the order. Kwame. Uh, yeah, Kwame sees how hard this thing is hitting. Uh, and how our group isn't hitting it as easily. Um, uh, I I say, oh, okay, okay. Um, oh, this is already too stressful. Uh, let me spin you a story in which the shell of the crab is revealed. Um, at least the weak parts. Um, I'm trying to um um w warp some some cracks or something within its uh, form um, that are weaker. So um it can start getting hit <laughs> and not so damn tough. All huh. right. All right. Um, go ahead and let's make this intelligence and defense. I... Okay. Intelligence and defense. Uh, uh, oh, uh, 12. All right. All right. Uh, that does meet its uh, initiative, so it will hit. Oh. We're going to go ahead and lower its initiative by one, meaning everyone just has to roll 11 to hit instead of a 12. Oh, that's something. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll have the, the, the web start to uh, shoot at this thing, and as they hit it, it just starts to dissolve into venom, and those spots just become a little um, less hard. And like, hit those spots! That, that's that's what I could do right now. Very All helpful. Right. Thank you. Problem. Does anybody have a map? 
Apparently, Kwame does. All right. The crab pulls its now uh, stub out of the club room. <laughs> and it flails in an anger. Uh, thanks, Death Chokehold, for raiding us. Right now, we're in the middle of combat. I would just crab. like to, Everyone knows that that's not how crabs sound, Stephen, that they go... <laughs> Actually, no, that's it's... a duck. A woo -woo 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 -woo. <laughs> <laughs> and here I thought they just sing things like they sing shiny. Uh, shiny. It did. It <laughs> turns in anger and it's going to slam down on Kwame. It rolled a 12. That does meet your initiative. So Kwame, go ahead and roll me defense. Ouchie. Just defense, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. One. So you take ten. Oof. Mm -hmm. We're doing real good, y'all. A that large claw just comes down and bang! Right <laughs> on your claw. Knocks the wind out of you. I can't wait. This is so good. Ugh. Oh. Oh, the crab is dangerous. The Next crab up is dark. Wild. Uh, what do we see from our room? Uh, from your room, go ahead and give me an intelligence roll as you look out the window, because there's sand all over the place and thorns and a bleeding Lenny. Six? Seven? Uh, six. Uh, both of you are able to see uh, not only the faint outline of this creature, you also see the large uh, hit here dots that Kwame has given you. Cool. Um... I'm gonna. Oh yeah, they are inside. <laughs> yeah. I'm going uh, to. Down on the ground, you see Manny with their sword, and you also see Kwame. And Kwame looks like he just took one hell of a hit. Okay. The how far away is Kwame from this crab now? Uh, Kwame is in smooching distance of the crab. The crab is pretty much on him. All Focus right. Crabs. Uh... I'm going to uh, call upon Persephone to help me build a wall of very hard, like, roots over Kwame. Oh, that's nice of you. Uh, and that's int range. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and make this intelligence range. Ten. Okay. Uh, Kwame now has defense five on top of his uh, normal defense. So we'll go ahead and say next uh, hit Kwame takes, he'll be, he'll add five to his roll. You cool. can see uh, as he's like nursing himself, these these vines, um, uh, to the vines of roots, sorry. Roots. Yeah, They're these like roots. super hard roots. Yeah, yeah, these roots form over here. What the fuck is this? No, okay, okay, I get it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 I'll make sure I the basketball Kwame. team votes for you too. Oh. Wait, what? What? <laughs> I'm in pain. Did he bring basketball team? I'm yeah, in he, pain. He's, he's the captain of the basketball team and has that been is a crap entire... right now. We don't need to talk about this. <laughs> we'll deal with that in a minute. Uh, <laughs> Manny, it's your turn. We're gonna try and do another hit here. Let's see if we can manage it. Oh, goodness. Come on. Uh, uh, um, I don't think an 11 does it. An 11 does it. Oh, great. Awesome. Yeah. Kwame lowered its initiative to an 11. Sweet, 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 sweet. Cha-cha. Damage. Uh, that's going to be eight damage. All right. Let me roll its defense. Oh. I'm going to use a reroll for myself because I just rolled an eight. All right. But wait, you can't. I'm kidding. I'm right. being nice. All right. If you, <laughs> that's okay. I, I appreciate that you're trying to make me feel better about myself, but you do not have to. It is no, okay. Wait, I did. It takes four damage. Uh, you're, you just find a spot and you're swinging at it. Manny, Manny is a fairy. Loving, 
loving young human, but they don't exactly have the upper body strength to be a lumberjack, and they are trying very hard to be one right now, and it's working Have you almost. seen my giant sword? I'm buff. My arms are jacked at this point. I am yoked. <laughs> I am yoked. Okay. It's and less maybe, about pure strength and more about leverage. Yeah, I have, I have, I am very, very wiry in my musculature and you don't know wire people are stronger. You have, you don't really want to mess with wiry people. <laughs> They're nothing no. but muscle. <laughs> I, I believe you. I'm just this tiny little thing. Anyway, I Eric. grew up with I grew up with a wiry brother, and that they're like rubber bands, so tightly wound. Yeah, I'll be my hobbit hole. Uh, Lenny, you're up next. Okay, Lenny steps out, <laughs> brushes himself off. Um, you know, very injured. Uh, looks up, sees all these. Uh, please punch here, and goes, "I'm oh, in." Okay. And uh, just like, like, sets his hand out to fire a thin, like, like high pressure beam of uh, of liquid at one of these uh, these hit here spots. All right, uh, go ahead and give me the usual roll. Uh, but since you were aiming at one of these spots and you made it perfectly clear, go ahead and add a one to the roll. Okay. Uh. Uh. Then I'm gonna use a reroll because okay. that because that was not gonna left. be enough. Right. That, that D12 and that D8 did not roll high. Maybe they do this time. No, we they were significantly now. worse. Significantly oh, no. worse roll. How, no. how does a D12 do so badly? I don't know. Oh, dear. I don't understand the math. No. We have one reroll left. Uh, yes, Eric, uh, Lenny shoots, and it just... It's all foam. It's all foam. He just the lines are full of foam this time. You know, he tries he's not getting any real liquid. Out of curiosity, it is our pen ultimate episode. How do we get more rerolls? Oh, well. Hmm. How about this? How about this? We are currently sitting at fifty dollars in tips. If we make a hundred dollars in tips, I'll let you guys have five more rerolls. I'm just Woo! saying it's, it's uh, you know, you know, pen ultimate is almost there. You won't see us for an, a long time. I mean, it's go just big saying. or go home. Just saying. Throwing that out there. Go big, go Six Flags. I haven't been with Six Flags in so long. Oh I don't gosh. do roller coasters. There's nothing for me there. Oh, man. I will take you guys to Six Flags. We need oh. to do a Six Flags yes. trip. Yes. I've been a couple we of times. Disneyland. It's but different. It's, it's very different. They're the same distance away. Yeah. Just different directions. Actually, I live in the valley, so Six Flags is super close. I'm just uh, roller coasters. Oh, anyway. so anywho, Why back to the game. <laughs> anywho, back to the game. Lenny has a bad case of foam, and we are back to the top of the order with Kwame. Okay. You got Kwame, this, Kwame. You You're are fine. in a cocoon of uh, roots. It is actually kind of pleasant, you know. I'm going to be a pretty butterfly. I wanted to be a wall. Okay, there's a so wall. He can get right out. Here. Never mind. He's not trapped. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, I will. Um, I will oh. appear uh, around the corner of this uh, of this wall and just kind of be around. And, you got this. Okay, um, Anansi, you already know. You already know. <laughs> I don't know a lot right now. I'm currently two dimensional. Oh uh, well, you're gonna know more. Um, I I need you to go. Um, um, spin a story in which you bite the shit out of that crab. You mother. <laughs> okay, go ahead and give me intelligence range minus two. Yep. <laughs> Use that AP point. Use your venom. Okay. Uh, intelligence range minus two. <laughs> what are these dicey? Okay. Uh, that was horrible. Would you like to use the last reroll? Yes, that would have been a three Good. in total. <laughs> Good, because thanks to chat, we have uh, you guys have unlocked five more rerolls. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! Yeah. That... And we've unlocked two new story tiers. Uh, wow. We will get to those in a moment. But first, what'd you get? That is a uh, a, a sixteen minus two. That absolutely hits. Go ahead and roll damage. 
Uh, ooh, and this is plus two, correct? Yes. Eat that, Anansi. It's 22. 22. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, he... Anansi just lands and has grown in size thanks to the story and just harf, right on one of the uh, pulsating hit here marks you've left. And it's, it, it's still standing, but it does not look happy. And Nancy, have you ever heard of the story of Shelob? <laughs> All I've heard right now is anger. <laughs> I think that was true of her too. Now, We've unlocked two story tiers. Now, one of them I'll address in a second, but one of them is Waifu Wars, the cast reveals their first animated crushes. You don't want me to do this. Oh, I do. I can I I can I, I can go first because I already have my answer. Yeah. Trunks. Trunks was my first Trunks. anime crush. Solid. Crush. That's a good I liked, one. I liked his hair. It was purple. I liked the style. He's a good like, dude, angsty yeah. boy. I yeah, get it. Trunks, Trunks was my first anime crush. No, no, it doesn't have to be anime. It could just be animated. So yeah, Trunks. Still Trunks. my answer. All right. All right. Trunks is a solid choice. Uh, definitely, it had to be April O'Neil from the 90s uh, Ninja Turtles. Mm-hmm. I get that, too. I get that. You know, she had the little yellow jumpsuit thing. Solid reporter, you know? Yeah. Cared about the little turtles. CB? I'm going between two, and I'm going to kind of think which one would I have liked first. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, this is this, I knew I was a straight-up homo gay. Um, but one of them was Merrick from Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, just dark-skinned Egyptian, just everything. Just, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. the second <laughs> y'all gonna hate me for this. Uh, Lieutenant Surge from Pokemon. <laughs> That's choice. Okay. I, no, it's no, not. No, no, no it's no. not a choice. <laughs> no, it's not a choice. He's big beefy. old man. Yeah, exactly. And I, and I am not a vegetarian. <laughs> like that. He's 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 neither a vegetarian nor opposed to cake. So, <laughs> You're mine is actually a tie between uh, Matt from Digimon. I almost said Matt. I swear to God. Continue. There was the, the stupid gloves and that shirt and that hair. It was just eight year old me. I was into it. Uh, and Brock from Pokemon because I had terrible taste. Steven, we are like the same person. Love you, man. I swear to God, Matt and Brock were in my head. I'm like, I like both of them, but they weren't first. Continue. <laughs> almost, and I almost said Jesse. Uh, not Jesse. I also said James. James. I almost said James, but I think James was more goals than like crush. That's valid. Yes. All right, Mika, you've been over there, <laughs> slowly dying, dreading the moment. Saved you for last. So my my like socially acceptable one is Yama Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh. What's the real one? Well, my like real one is Spirit the Stallion of the Cimarron, the horse. <laughs> 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 Okay, okay. Mika, All right. I love you. I love you. I love this. I, I am going to say, I have met so many people who say, like, Kovu from The Lion King, so I'm not shocked. Yeah. It was the I mean, we all, we all could also probably say that Robin Hood was one of our animated crushes. Yeah. Yeah. What person didn't go, why do Anima- I feel this way no, about right, a for fox? For an animated fox. <laughs> yeah. I will say, Baloo. Definitely shaped my taste in men. Mm. Okay. Yep. He okay. likes bears. You like the bears? I, I like them big. I like them chunky. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the game. <laughs> I hate this. Ah. Thank you so much, chat, for airing our horrible, horrible, dirty laundry. And uh, now we know more about Mika. I'm a horse girl. 
<laughs> More ways than one. <laughs> oh boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Aki's over here just like Aki and Eric are over here doing the like, I had normal taste. I had normal taste. <laughs> we said first, we didn't say radical. Like, we could yeah. go crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're, thank you they're very much. Not that going chat. wild over here, but you know, yeah, there weren't a lot of, there wasn't a lot of like when I was a child, there wasn't a lot of just females in cartoons that weren't sex objects. So, it all started with Shark Tale when they had the Angelina Jolie fish. Yeah, why would they make her look like that? Oof, girl. Will Smith fish haunts my dreams. Anyway, as the four of you are in the middle of this life or death situation, suddenly you hear chittering and hopping. As a wave of black bunnies comes out of the club room window, riding atop of them with a small <laughs> rabbit crown and cape and a little scepter is Morpheus, who has joined the combat on your side. Thanks again to the chat for unlocking rabbit food, and we're going to have some fun with Morpheus's powers. Oh, gosh. We need it. Please. <laughs> All right, so can he just please turn into the killer rabbit of Cabernog? <laughs> so we are back to combat. Kwame just went. Uh, it is now the crab's turn, <laughs> and it's going to take a swing at Manny. Uh -huh. Okay, it hits. He got a seven. I'm sorry. Go ahead and roll your defense as it. Uh, takes a strike. Don't have to apologize for hitting me. I rolled a three. I you. Okay, I roll an 11. You take eight. Ha-cha-cha. Ha-cha-cha. -cha. I have a very strong opinion that you should apologize if you bopped someone. You're the DM. It's the... the that... That... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Dahlia, you're up. Um, we're still in the club room, yes? Uh, you are in the club room, and there is a sea of rabbits, uh, just running past you and making a wave outside. Making a wave outside. Wide. Sea of rabbits hopping down to fight the crab. I'm homebound. Um, I'm going to create a staircase of some kind, no, a slide. I wanna make a slide out of a hollowed out tree so that Lenny and I can join our friends. I will say, you can actually ride the rabbit wave down if you wanted to. Okay, I'll ride yeah. the rabbits. Okay, uh, that was your move action. You can still take an action. Uh, cool, then, ooh. I'll, uh, I'm gonna throw like a spear I'll make a spear and throw it at whatever white spot I see closest to me. All right, go ahead and give me a uh, magician attack. That is intelligence plus range minus two. Six. We have five rerolls. Reroll. Reroll. Re Seventeen. <laughs> that will hit. Roll me damage. I love rerolls. Thank you so much. Damage is 15 plus 2, 17. <laughs> Another 17. All right. It's going to take nine of that. Get hacked. It rolled really well on its defense again. Get hacked, you butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up is the Morpheus Rabbit Wave. They are going to uh, strike. Rabbit Wave. Rabbit Wave. Going to get hacked by the Rabbit Wave. Moon bunny power. Oh God. The wave crashes on the crab and it is unfazed. Darn it. They say in unison. Uh, next up is Manny. All right. Let's do a chop, 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 chop. Choppity chop. Spend an AP for chop, chop, chop. Here we go. Um, um, 
I'm going to re-roll. Okay. Four re-rolls. Oh, wait. No, three re-rolls remaining. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Come on. That's 12. That hits. Cool. Hey. That is nine points of damage. Mm. You keep slicing at it, and you have managed to chip off a bit of it. And you're realizing this weird invisibility light refracting thing. It's almost like a shell. As you slosh off a part of it with your sword, it goes flying and lands and turns to sand. Next up is Lenny. Um, I'm going to try and... I'm going to shake out, try and like, get, hopefully I got all the air out of the lines. So now I can, and I can get proper, proper beer to come out instead of just foam. So we're going to try and shoot this thing in, in, in its weak spots for massive damage. Hit a crab in its weak spot for massive damage in a realistic Japanese battle. It's a reference to a video game thing. Uh, 13 minus 2, 11. That hits. All right. Boop. Uh, 12. Holy shit. Lenny, how do you kill it? Uh, nice. Lenny, like, after, after like, like, going, come on, we, we can do this. Like, takes a knee, stands down, like, holds his his arm up and then his arm becomes like just pure liquid and he like aims it. And then you just see like this, this little bead of, of like, and, and you watch his like anime style, this little like dot hits in this like crab in the, like this glowing weak spot that Kwame posted. And then the crab doesn't react. And then suddenly you just see crack, 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 crack. And then it's just, the crab literally just explodes from the, from the inside. <laughs> I need everyone to give me a dexterity roll. We're looking for a four. No, it's crap. Four. Four. Oh, six. Yeah, that's the max I can get. Mika? We can't hear you. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> All of you stand your ground. You're blinded for a brief moment from this light until it dissolves and you are standing among a lot of destruction but you've saved a lot of people you're a sore loser white king oh okay For, well, are you talking though. to lenny N no i am no. sore uh I, well, we should help Kwame. He got really hurt. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, oh. fine, I'm, fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. Here, let me let me help. Like, <laughs> no, you you you're more hurt than me. I just no. have to win. No, I'm no, good. No. Mm. Both of you look pretty bad. You're, you're. Let's let's get you inside and patched up, and I can it's... explain what I mean by that. And you can explain why you're wearing a a jersey. Yeah, I need Lenny and Dahlia to both give me intelligence rolls. Eight. Oh, I was hoping I was gonna fail that and just assume he's and just be part of the lie. Three. What are you talking about? Kwame's been a part of the basketball team this entire time. Except <laughs> Kwame's never been a part of this. I have two concurrent timelines in my head, and it's hard to understand which one I should be listening to. Are you also trying out for high school musical? I'm walking inside now. <laughs> I thought this stuck the stumble inside. I both simultaneously remember you go. not being a part of sports, but also being the captain of the basketball team. In the background, Morpheus looks at his army of clones. Well, we'll have to practice, man. But you did good out there. He gives them a little salute, and they give one back as they chitter off into the quad to make the groundskeeper's life a living yeah. hell. Good job. Drinks are on me. And he just like, it starts raining alcohol <laughs> out to, towards the bunnies. Inside, Drunk bunnies, no. Drunk oh. bunnies, yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't know what that, I, I can't imagine what that looks like, but I imagine it's funny. Don't do it. But it's Yeah, it do not give your, your rabbit. Don't, don't do 
I feel like we shouldn't have to say it, but in this day and age, yes, don't give your rabbits act. Don't actually give rabbits alcohol unless they are clones of the the god of the dreaming. Yeah. So, the four of you are back in what's left of the school safety club, school safety club squad club room. I swear I speak English. The window is broken. The floor is covered in white sand. Uh, glass is everywhere. Um, Morpheus's very elaborate Pepe Sylvia plan is just scattered to the wind. So uh, first is first things first. We have to take care of the two of you. We're not looking so great. I mean, we get, we can, we, we, we lay down. We're, we're fine. I think I'm okay. I think I only cracked a rib. So as long as I don't, you know, uh, move too much or laugh or breathe, I should be fine. You need to be able to breathe. That is pretty important. Oh, I can breathe. It's just every breath I take is a stabbing pain. That's not great. Um, every move you make, every step you take. Yeah. Every single... I'm not continuing this! <laughs> <laughs> well, um... Persephone was showing me some healing salves I can make with some uh, flowers and plants. If you guys would like me to put them on some of the surface stuff. I can't really help with a broken rib, though. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that'll be great. Uh, yeah, Ninkasi can help me with pain management pretty well. <laughs> 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 you have no idea how good I am at that. Perhaps instead we could at least reform you guys in the in, in, in the way you're supposed to be. Well, if you want to attempt to heal them, um, you are all welcome to. I would like to. Yes, Kwame will um, um, give in and uh, take off his jersey. Um and just yeah, you can see like a you can see like I mean it's his dark skin, but it's like a purplish bruise that's right in the middle of his like his chest, like right over those really nice pectorals and abs and all that good stuff. <laughs> right, right here. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm fine. That's okay. We have our 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 lady nightingale here to help you. <laughs> All right, Dahlia, um, why don't you go ahead and give me intelligence and power? Let's see how well you can do this. I believe in you. I believe in you. Four? Nah, that's not going to be good enough. Maybe a reroll. You can use a reroll. We have three left. Do Should it? I? Do okay. it. Come on. Don't let me down. Oh, a four and a six. Ten. A ten will hit. Okay, it's go really ahead. Awesome. They are great. Go ahead and roll me a uh, d6. Three. Right in the middle. All right. Um, Kwame, you have uh, healed for three. Thank you. Uh, that feels much better. Uh, I do appreciate it. It smells what like fixed vapor rum. There's like mm. some menthol in your chest. Yeah, you should take you it easy at practice. Also, have you always been on the basketball team, or is my brain broken? Yeah, what's that all about? It's not really that important. You said something about doing something that would benefit yourself right before you saw the when you saw. Yeah, because we talked about how <gasps> the jocks wouldn't vote for you because you weren't one of them, and now I remember you being one of them. So it's weird that I remember both of those things. Kwame. I I'm so sorry we never asked you about your basketball career. Yeah, I feel like such, such, like, we like been a real bad friends. person. Yeah. We, we haven't gone to any games. of your practices or any no, of your games. No, 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 Um We are running out of time. And uh, I did what was necessary to ensure that I at least will have one of those crowns. So, I use my ability to um, change the story in which Leroy is not, well, that's the issue. 
I've learned that those like us, we remember everything. Might not remember it completely, but you have semblances of memory. Um, but Leroy once was the captain of the basketball team, and now I am. And I also have the votes of the basketball team and their friends, which means most of the athletic department. Oh, yeah. If be. you get basketball, then you get lacrosse. And everyone wants to, like, if they're going for something, football's not going to be left out of that. So th that's three teams right there. <sighs> yes. And it won't affect Lenny in that way because he is an underclassman, technically. So. Wait, was I on the basketball team? But you. No, you. What he means is that he's not stealing any votes from you, Lenny. So you could still vie for the for the um, attention of the of the, the basketball team and, and and all of them, and they would be able to vote for you uh, because it wouldn't take away from from Kwame at all. Oh, I guess that's the, true. Uh, the the thing is, is I don't do um, bigger things often. Bigger changes to the story means bigger changes to the story. And when Potential you affect one thing, my father was not in a good situation, and now he is. But because he is, my mother is gone. What? When you change the story, it has consequences. When you I'm say gone, like gone, gone? It's fine. I've gotten over it at this point. I had to. It is the price. So, I did what was necessary to ensure that the school, this universe, I do not fucking know, isn't affected by the king in white, or at least give us an upper hand. What will happen because of that, I do not know, but I did what I must. Well, the king in white came to see me today. After, like, after I left, I went to the pep squad room and he walked in and tried to negotiate with me. He wanted the crowns. I told him he couldn't have them. And he said he wanted them so that the game could be over and that he was going to use them, but he wouldn't tell me what for. And I asked if they were going to hurt anyone if he did and he said probably wouldn't hurt us or like anyone we know but i asked him if it would hurt the gods and he wouldn't answer that either and so i told him he couldn't have the crowns and then he said well if you won't give me the crowns then i'm gonna murder everyone and i told him we wouldn't let him do that um and that's how that went did i do the right thing well, obviously. Yeah. Every time someone's told us you can't do something, we ended up just like straight up doing it anyways. He's scared. He doesn't think this is going to turn out well for him. So he's resorting to violence and hurting others. And that's why he can't have the crowns. Because if he gets that kind of power, what's he going to do with it? Yeah. Yeah. It's obviously getting to a point where, I don't know, it feels like it's coming to a head. We fought rooks and, and pawns and knights and a crab apple creature. I do not know. The crab. Could any of you figure out what it's supposed to be? Was it? Was it another pawn, just like really powerful one, or was it was it something else? It felt like a warning more than anything. 
Yeah, it didn't seem like the normal stuff we'd fought. So maybe that's if it's if if we're playing a game, then maybe the King of White was like, "Heck it, I'll just I'll just cheat or whatever, and I'll just throw this whatever this invisible crab is." Maybe you're right. Maybe he's starting to uh, deviate from the plan because he's realized the plan isn't working anymore. Hey, he's he's desperate, and he's probably gonna lash out and it's probably going to get worse but that's why we have to keep going we have these extra keys that we still haven't figured out how to unlock and might be good to figure out if we can't i don't know expand our repertoire so that we can we can have a few surprises of our own like I really wanted to do something with my Kexacotl key, but I haven't really been able to figure out how to unlock its abilities. You have more than how many do you have? Well, I have two. I have two. I also have a, a second one. I uh, don't, but... Um, Could probably find you one as often as they seem to appear. Yeah. It's No, I... um. I with Miss Miss Wang. She taught me how to um, awaken or fix. I don't know these keys. We have a couple of um, we have a couple of dead ones too, like the regular white ones lying around. Maybe maybe you could take a look at them and see what you can do. Well, I won't worry about me right now. I've probably done enough. If I you didn't. can, I am. No, sorry, Eric said uh, something. Uh, he was muted. Yeah. Also, you, you know, if you nobody wants the Skaven key, so I guess you could have that. <laughs> I'm saying that I don't. What the fuck is the Skaven? Oh, uh, he's a creepy rat, rat god. I think the god yeah. of diseases and and plagues and stuff like that. I already have an auntie. I don't need that. Hey! <laughs> I figured that spiders and rats was kind of doubling down a little bit too hard. Yeah, like we couldn't give Lenny the Dionysus key because he's already the king of beer. So I took the Dionysus key. And I really... Oh, what if I use that for some of my parties coming up this week? We okay. have to figure out how to unlock them first. Yeah. That, that's what I'm trying to say. There's a potential. A bit, uh, there, there's a. There's a. Uh, maybe I can unlock them. I do not know. I don't know this side of my power. Well, it's something to explore. Definitely something to look into. Dahlia, as you look at down at the white sand that's covered the uh, club room, you see a pink key sticking out of the dirt. We, thanks to the chat, we've unlocked the origin of love. Aphrodite's key will make an appearance and give Dahlia some advice. We will be doing that scene next week. Oh, oh speaking of keys, she's going to grab this one. They're literally just like lying around all the time. Like, yeah, are you sure you don't want this one coming? I can tuck it away. No, I've no. That's for you. Okay. The story was meant for you to find it. Huh. Before you guys can get any further in uh, to this conversation, crude imposter night bride, noisily weeping taco, two members, uh, two members of the uh, young firefighters department. Uh, come in, check. They're evacuating the whole building and the four of you are asked pretty sternly to leave. Considering how much damage is done to the building, it's probably not a bad idea. Oh yes, it is definitely not structurally sound and therefore incredibly unsafe for us to be in here. And as a, uh, the safe the school safety squad, we, we, we should be setting a good example. Yes. And as you leave... 
Reality shifted a little bit. Potentials unlocked. And the world just a little bit more dangerous. The four of you are reminded that there is just five days between you and the crown and the final move of this chess game. Before we call it a day, we're going to go ahead and have our toast read by our lovely uh, school administrator. Usually we have this a little more in-world, but you guys had such a damn good scene there at the end. I was not going to interrupt it. <laughs> All right, children, welcome. Uh, it's another day. Uh, stay away from the clubhouse. Apparently it's uh, exploded or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, news details coming in. Uh, we got some, some, some announcements at the school. This one, uh, Five Foot Latina says, It's time for the North Point Academy Cinco de Mayo Festival. Uh, come sample traditional and modern Mexican cuisine. Yes, there will be tacos. Uh, enjoy live dancing and music performances featuring North Point's own uh, Los uh, Conjos de, Del Norte. I, listen, Spanish wasn't my... I didn't like... I took French. Uh, uh, see you all Wednesday. All right. Uh, thank you for that. You can see all of the, this stuff uh, that they have. Uh, I hope that, you know, I, I love, I it, I don't know if they'll have empanadas, but I love empanadas. I don't know. Maybe we can ask them later. Uh, from Chovixan, he says, uh, the circus club members are reminded that leaving clown shoes under other students at bed is all behind curtains, like in a creep like a creep is not permitted uh, please don't do that uh if you find if we find you before uh those students do you may uh, you may in fact live uh so so yeah but just uh, uh oh, i didn't i didn't take russian neither uh bog v pomoch is is May God help you, I think is how that is, is apparently what that says. I don't know. I told you I took French. Okay, I don't know why you make me do this like all right, but yeah, don't don't put your creepy clown shoes in people's you respect people's space. That's all we got. Uh take care every every day. <laughs> thank you I'll, very much, Eric, and thank you, chat, for that. I went in trying to make him use other languages. <laughs> Bog v Pamok. It's hard to not just as a person with dyslexia read in another language, but read it also in a bad New York accent. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you very much for tuning in for this week's New Pantheon Academia. Make sure you come back next week for our season finale. It's going to be prom. Will we be dressed up? I don't know. I didn't really, I don't really remember my prom, so we'll see from on this end, but you guys, like, I don't know, you guys get costumes. Uh, my name is Stephen Pope. You can find me online uh, at The Professional Hobbit, uh, figuring out how to do social media right now. Things are a little difficult for me. Uh, if you like my work, you can check out The Lost Entitlements Volume 1. Lost Entitlements Volume 2 will be released possibly in June. Fingers crossed on that. So check that out on Drive Through RPG. Um, and Aki, where can they find you? Well, I mean, if they want to find me, they can find me over on Twitter at Mixgenie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. Um, I'm really bad at sign language, though. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, and uh, yeah, my entire Twitch streaming schedule can be found over mm. on my personal Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Aki. That's S H I D A R E A K I. Um, tomorrow night, you can catch me over on Q Times at 6.30 p.m., uh, where we are going to be playing uh, a special one-shot uh, in place of our usual Clear Skies. And then, of course, you can catch me doing Candlekeep Mysteries on uh, D&D Twitch with the Roll20 team um, at 1.30 p.m. So, yeah. Come hang out with me tomorrow. We're playing a couple games. <laughs> Very fun. Uh, Mika, where can they find you? Hi. Okay, I'm not muted. Cool. <laughs> Uh, you can find me on any social media site at R.I.P. Mika, uh, such as in Rest in Peace Mika. I stream Monday to Friday, um, 
at varying times because I like to sleep in sometimes. So I don't set myself a schedule. And then on Saturdays, I am over on Stories Told Twitch channel doing a Harry Potter RPG called The Fifth House. Um, we use witchcraft and wizardry system, which has no proceeds going towards JK Rowling. And we also put all of our um, like money and tips and everything towards Mermaids, which is a trans inclusive charity. And then Sundays, you can find me here. And that's it. Thank you. Love it. Fuck Terps. Uh, Eric, where can they find you? Uh, well, they can find me coming up this Tuesday at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here on the Saving Throw Twitch channel uh, for the uh, the Tales of Salt Bay uh, one shot part two. So technically two shot. Uh, we are playing uh, Monster Hearts. Uh, we're playing a second uh, episode of our, the Monster Hearts one it's shot. It's coming we did. back. Yeah, uh, so we're doing another Monster Hearts episode, which should be fun. Uh, and then uh, besides that, you can catch me. Uh, yeah, He's still here. my emo heart. Mm -hmm. You guys will understand how great that Monster Hearts episode was. Go check it out on our YouTube channel. It's great. Uh, CB, where can they find you? You can find me everywhere at uh, Critical Bard. Uh, Critical Bard across all social media channels. Um, doing all the things. You can catch me tomorrow. Uh, over on Realm Smith for Into the Mist uh, as I appear. Sir Godfrey Gwillem in their Crystal Stroud campaign. Um, I receive Saturdays for a Let's Get Wild Mount uh, uh, and doing many other things. Uh, specifically next week, though, you can catch me uh, over on, I don't remember exactly what the Twitch is, but it's a game for Jasper's Game Week, uh, which is a week dedicated to raising money for suicide prevention. I'll be playing a um, a and d game uh, run by David Blue with Anthony Rapp, Todd Stashwick, um, and many other amazing individuals. Um, definitely check it out if you can. That's, That's awesome. It. That is awesome. Well, thank you all very much for tuning in. It uh, doesn't matter if you did it through the podcast or you're here live on Twitch. We appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, once again, make sure you check out the Exploration Society. We are really trying to get $3,000 by the end of May. Uh, it's really really something we're pat we're trying to do it's important to keep everything afloat it's very great and it's great for you because you get pins swag merch discounts one page adventures written by all sorts of people here on saving throw show so check it out uh if you can't it's cool too we love you anyway uh we will see you next week for the season finale of new pantheon academia and until then bye-bye <laughs>